Hey everybody, welcome back to Slightly No Gamer Plays the Binding of Isaac. Last time I did terribly. Two runs in a row, both failed miserably. So this time around we're going to see if we can't do something better, and I'm just going to hit that random button again, and we're going to random Isaac, which is good because the last couple runs I have done without recording were terrible. Spider Butt. I think that's a slowing effect? Slowing effect spacebar item. So it's like a mom's contact, in a sense. Or spider bite. I think spider bite has a random tear effect that does that, unlike mom's contact, which is more likely to actually proc. Oh my god! I've gone off about these guys enough. I hate, hate those human popcorns just for the simple fact that all they do is run away. And because I'll sprint. These guys are able to shoot over rocks. How is that fair? They don't have spectral tears. Ugh. I'm just going to continue playing terribly. Because why? Because, um, none of you like it, and I don't give my fans what they want. No, I'm just kidding. It's because I'm really, really bad at this game. Oh, God. Couldn't, well, slightly did me a favor. Ooh, a whole three cents. Helpful. Okay, let's see who our boss is. Not famine. That's not bad. That makes it even better. No, that didn't last very long. Well, at least we're Isaac and not Maggie. <laughs> Fighting uh, Gemini with Maggie is probably, at least on the first floor with no speed upgrades, is probably the worst person to fight Gemini with. Okay. Come on, bring it on, you little red flying baby thing. You were just green a second ago. Okay, come on. And I need you to spit out two full red hearts and an amazing item. Preferably, like, Mom's knife or... You know, a random nail, even though I think that's impossible. Hey, HP upgrade, I'll take it. Alright, that's not bad. So, floor two. We have a key, so which means we can at least go to the item room on this floor. Oh, god, that was close. Alright, just gonna take these guys out slowly. Ooh, another key. If we get 15 cents, that means a shop. If not, that means item room on the next floor or a golden chest. Ooh, another key. Keys galore. Ooh, I've got a bomb too, which means I can get this chest. Ah, asshole fly. Hate every fly enemy in this game. Trade a bomb for another key and a half heart that I lost in this room. Oh, but I at least get access to this chest. Hey, a penny and a full heart. Portable detonator. Wait, I think it gives you bombs when you pick it up. Yep, worth it. Okay, I'm gonna keep spider butt, but uh, spider butt, butt, spider butt, butt. That sounds funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh god. Another one of my most hated enemies in the game ever just because of their shooting pattern is unfair. But technically, to almost every enemy in this game, your shooting pattern is unfair, I, I guess you could say. Anything that shoots straight. Alright. Keep heading left. Hey, there's an arcade in this on this floor. Alright, so. Things that I want. For right now, a nice trinket to have would be um, Bloody Penny. I'm just going to fight the boss. I'm not going to worry about the arcade. And we're going to get the pony. I can't believe I slowed him down and took damage. Like, what in the actual fuck? Why do I suck at... Why do I suck at this game lately? Oh, shit. Oh, god damn it. This is like the worst second uh, second floor boss to fight. Okay, that's terrible. We're just gonna hit replay. Of 
Yes, folks, it does happen. You do indeed die on the first and second floors, and it will happen to you a lot. Eh, go on, take on the boss. Widow. Normal Widow. Okay. Just need to focus. Ah, crap. I don't know what hit me there, if it was the spider or if it was Widow. It was most likely Widow, because I think he landed on the spider. Eh, oh god. Come on. Come on. Come on, die. Die. You, you need to die, dude. And uh, I was watching someone else play this, and he pointed out that the Widow, on all of its feet... Oh my... Pretend you didn't see that. I am just doing terrible. The widow on all of his on all of his legs, he has big toes instead of feet. Now that you know, you'll go back and watch. You'll see it, and you'll be unable to unsee that. Ha, asshole! All right, so we got a key. We need another one because it's the next L floor. Oh dear God! I'd like to get a bomb from this room, if at all possible. RNG, if you could just you know drop me a bomb. That'd be super duper. Nope, penny. Okay, that's the same as a bomb, right? All right. Yeah, then you know those are bombs too. Glorious bombs. Alright. Come. Nope. Nope. Stop it. Stop it. Alright. You guys are dead. Really? Um. Got some against bombs? Oh. Yeah, those, those definitely look like bombs. I'm just going to be complaining about not being able to get this tinted rock all floor. So be prepared! Hey, a key. That's not too bad. It means I can go to both item rooms. Ooh, champion mutant spider. <sighs> when I get when I take damage from a spider, I just feel super inadequate. Okay, come on. Die. Die. Alright. Let that bomb explode. Oh, might as well see. Tarot card. The chariot. That is not a bomb. Couldn't even give me the tower? God. I need a bomb. Oh, split shot. That was actually worth going into that curse room. I love split shot. It's handy in a lot of situations. Oh my god, look at all that money. Another tinted rock. Uh Bombs. Oh bombs. Oh bombs. Small rock! Yes! That was so worth it. Um, I'm gonna put this bomb right here, and hopefully it'll blow both of those up. And uncover our secret room. Beast? We definitely have enough money to go to a shop. If I get enough keys... Okay, so I can get this other tinted rock down here and get more money. Actually, I might go check out the uh, I don't know. I want to be able to at least get one item room. Even though we've gotten two items already this floor. Let's just see if we uh, get another key and then I'll make a decision. Aw, oh, sweet! 
So I'll definitely... Oh, got another Tinted Rock. I think RNG's trying to make up for those last two. Um, I'm not even going to call those runs. Those were like pseudo runs. Those were not like worth anything. Oh, a pill. Wiggle Worm. I want nothing to do with Wiggle Worm. Alright, there is item room number two. If you give me another key, or a bomb, or a heart, that works too, not really. Oh god, it's gonna give me a key. Nope, okay. Well, let's go to the uh, shop first. And see if we can't get a key and a bomb out of the shop, along with maybe a decent item. If we got uh, Book of Revelations or Blue Candle, first floor, yeah, I would think I'd cry. Just, just a little bit. I don't think I've ever actually gotten Blue Candle yet. At least not on camera, I don't think. Oh my god, Book of Revelations. Oh, another Tinted Rock, too? Really? There's so many Tinted Rocks. Okay, so... I kinda don't want to use Book of Revelations, because I know it'll bring out a... Uh, doesn't really matter if I use it on the boss room. It's still gonna possibly bring out Famine. So, let's see what our other item room is. I'm not picking up Wiggle Worm because it's just, it's pointless. It makes your shots shake, and that's dumb. Oh god, little Chad! Now, if we can get the Miter, this could be really good. Now, things I don't want and from the boss room, the crate. Granted, I would like the crate because it'll give us bombs. It'll slow us down. It'll uh, it'll decrease our speed even more than the small rock already has, so we will be even slower. Right now, we're about Maggie level speed, I believe. So, let's hop in here. Pin! Champion pin. It means I'm going to save the chariot card. Oh, shit. All right. Bring it on, Pin. Ah, oh, come on. I gotta stop talking trash. Ha! Gotcha. Speed up. Awesome. Now if we get the crate, I won't feel too bad. But it's famine, so we're gonna get a uh, cube of meat, which is also good. I will... I will... I will great fully accept a cube of meat for its defensive cap and its offensive capabilities. This is going to be a really easy famine fight because of split shot. Ah, damn it. Oh, two hearts of damage, really. And to deal with the devil. Eee, this could be good or bad. Packed in the mark. Both packed. I mean, they're both damage ups. I don't know which one's better. So, now we are doing a little bit worse for wear on health. We do need to get some health upgrades now. But thankfully we have Book of Revelations, which will help us out for a little bit. Um, it's not necessarily, uh, Book of Revelations is not necessarily the best item on its own. We are going to need something more than Book of Revelations to keep spirit hearts flowing unless I can consistently not take damage but we're gonna need something like nun's habit and the battery in order to keep things flowing regularly the compass uh yeah a free compass anyone who doesn't take that deal is high off their ass well technically it's not free but it's a really easy room I mean, the only thing that's not going to be easy is the next wave, which is going to be these assholes. Which I just took damage. Shit. Okay. Alright, and we got the missing page, which is a random chance when you take damage to use the Necronomicon. 
And we got the compass. We can see we have a mini boss. Hopefully, someone worthwhile and not Envy. Envy's a dick. Book of Revelations. And it's Sloth. Ooh, I got really lucky right there to not take damage. Getting the pact actually really helped us, and having split shot is really good. I think some people give split shot a bad rap, but I love split shot. Two of hearts. Um, stick with the chariot for now. Definitely need a key of the unlocking sort. That, sir, is not a key. Alright, um, there are a lot of red hearts around here, though. I could definitely try and go for a blood bag. I just pretty much have to do it a half heart at a time, which is slightly annoying, but if I can get a blood bag, that's a health upgrade. Ooh, there's a key. Sweet. We'll go ahead and fight the boss first, though, since, he, since we're right here. Um, yes, I want this dime. Thank you very much. And, yeah, I... I oh, shit. Since I used Book of Revelations, yeah, we were gonna get... Oh, that's... Damn it! Okay, so. Using Book of Revelations just makes it more likely for you to fight a horseman. That's some bullshit right there. Alright, second level Cuba meat, not bad. Not great, though. Um, I want... N I would like to get Bloody Lust. That would be pretty cool. So, we definitely need to shoot for Blood Bag. Um, this could either go really good or really terribly. But either way, I'm going to say it's probably in my best interest to go to the shop first and hope on everything it's not greed. It's not, and we get Nun's Habit and a key so we can go to the item room. Hopefully the item room has something good if I get another five cents from... I'm done. If I get another five cents from holy water, really? Ugh. From the blood bank, I'll go get that spirit heart because I could really use it. Okay, um, what, what was this? Uh, the chariot. I'm going to take this. Now the this is just the one that gives you two hearts, so it's not the best. Okay. Oh, but we've got Nun's Habit, which means that it's going to help us with um, Book of Revelations as well. Did that take away one of my spirit hearts? I think it did. Okay, so I'm really hoping that I get lucky enough to get the blood bag just because it's a health up and I need it. But thankfully, because of all these red hearts, we are getting um, Nun's Habit to uh, prog our Book of Revelations, so we are getting some extra spirit hearts as we're doing this. The only thing that can make this better is if we had Bloody Penny. We could just sit here all day, essentially. Well, not all day, because it doesn't really proc all that much. Okay, that's another Spirit Heart right there. And I actually think that's the last of the Red Heart... Uh, spare Red Hearts. Take you. Alright, so let's see if, there, if there's another half Red Heart in the boss room. Along, if there's two half red hearts in the boss room, I will play it one more time and hopefully get lucky. But either way, we'll get another book revelations charge out of it. 
And there's just one, so I'm going to... You know what? I've got enough spirit hearts to risk it, since we have little Chad with us. And I am just going to take the risk and play it. And we just get some spare money. Um, you know, it's it's going to start taking spirit hearts now, but... I gotta try for the blood bag. Actually, I can just infinitely play this until I get it. I just realized that. Because, uh, cause, I mean, every two hits it'll give me Book of Revelations. And then I'll just gain that spirit heart back. Blood bag! Yes! Okay, that was genius. I am the smartest man alive! Um, no, I don't want to do that because I won't have Book of Revelations. Okay, so, that was ingenious. I can't believe I didn't think of that sooner. Okay, so. Need keys. First thing. So, that, um, that actually put us in a lot better of a position, getting that blood bag. And actually doing that to, um, get our spirit hearts up a lot, too, if... Oh, we've got an arcade! We can do it again! Of course! And that is a boss trap room. So we will definitely go play the blood bank. Okay, so... Revelations. We are going to go up to the arcade and we are going to play the blood bank until we get to um, half a red heart and then go to the boss room. Oh, sweet. The blood bag right off the bat? Again? Oh, God. Well, I mean, we're not going to get to go to the. Uh, The, uh, the boss trap room. There we go. There's my choo-choo. Peeper's eye. Not bad, but not great. Okay, so that actually took us back to starting level health, which is good. Now, if only we could get, um, 15 cents. Oh, shit. Okay. That room is terrible. I definitely want flying. And I think those blood bags give a speed up as well, because I'm a lot faster now. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, let's drop a bomb. And we get a key. So we can we can oof, that is a two of diamonds. Please tell me that's a two of diamonds. Nope, it's two of hearts. I'll hang on to it anyway. Um, never know when it could be handy. I, I wish that, um... Oh, I didn't... Seven cent ladder. Take it. That is great. That is actually really great. Um... So we have pseudo-flying. Alright. Um, let's check down here. And I keep forgetting that we actually have the compass. Sure, I will play Judgment, even though I've only got three coins. Oh, I accidentally killed Judgment. Well, we got a key out of it. I mean, the only thing he uh, could have given me that I want outside of the map is a health upgrade. Oh, sweet. I don't really want to go back and try and get that pill, though, because we're Isaac. If, if we were Kane, I would go back and get that pill, or if we had PhD... But right now, I don't want the pill. I'll just save the money for the next floor. Because there wasn't a key in that room, I'm fairly certain of it. The Fallen. Ooh, this means a um, random devil item. Which is cool. 
No, no. Stop being a dick. Ooh, ooh, ooh. As much damage as humanly possible. So, um... Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'm surprised we're not fighting a, uh, a horseman. I really don't want to get level 3 cube of meat. I'm not a super huge fan of level 3 cube of meat. We get a quarter. Now I'd be kind of remiss if we didn't at least... Att if we didn't at least check the pill. It could be something good. It could be like a health up or balls of steel. And I might as well check the... Uh, I might as well go into the curse room. Oh, well, we get, we get a... Uh, spirit heart and a half, essentially. I think I'm going to stick with two of hearts as a just-in-case measure. Bad gas. Well, wasn't worth five cents, but hey. Alrighty, this was a this was a decent floor. Um, last floor was a really good floor, actually. Play these guys a couple times a piece. Try and get some consumables. Use those keys. Of course. That was Scatole? Yes, we got Scatole! Um, puberty. Alright, I'm just gonna walk away with that. We got Scatole, which is good. Um, now flies won't aggro to us, which is awesome! I like Scatole. I rarely ever get it, too. Alright, so we are doing fairly decently. Curse of the Lost. Um, we're gonna go to... Oh, that was some bullshit, Peeper's Eye. You boned me on that one. Uh, Peeper's Eye is one of those blessing curse items. All right. Shouldn't be too difficult of a room. Oh god, there goes my frame rate. Okay. Key. Yay. Well, it was bound to happen eventually. We've already got, uh, we don't have, no, we don't have steam sail. Ah, oh, I knew I was going to get hit. Oh bullshit. Oh well. All right. With the Book of Revelation, since we have Nun's Habit, if we could get the wafer, if we could get lucky enough to get the wafer on this floor, oh god, you just fly into those, please. Thank you. Thank you for doing exactly as I asked. For once, headless horseman. Ooh, I want to play. I want to play. No, you dick. Hate you, judgment. Why? Judgment has been being quite a dick to me, just blowing up. Uh, got a bomb. Ooh, don't take damage from the blastuses. That would be quite embarrassing. Book revelations. The bean. Wow, okay, useless. I'm not quite sure why I walked this way, because I know that's not the curse room. Whoops. That was accidental. Key. I'll take. And I'm not going to waste our only bomb to see if the secret room is there. I didn't want to pick that up, I just wanted to walk. Okay, had to fake out the, uh, the blue spikes. Come on. God, I hate the blue spikes. And I hate these greed heads. Ah, fuck. God damn it. Okay. 
Um, there's a good chance we can get another bomb back. But we didn't. We just got two keys instead. Um, which means now we can't get that. Actually, we can. We will just have to pull the slickest of all slick moves, which I don't think is going to be possible. Um, this room is kind of unwinnable without without bombs. Okay. So I essentially had to take damage in order to get through this. I'm going to have to take damage again to get out unless I am able to smooth move this. And I was able to smooth move it. Oh, shite. Oh, shite and a half. Oh, shite and a half. Okay, there's one down. Ooh, that was very close. No, 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 no! Damn it. I hate you. Damn it, bad trip. Okay. Just keep going forward. Onwards and upwards. Um, we've already been to the shop, already been to the item room. So, ooh, there's a bunch of bombs in here. I'm gonna use it right here. I think that was the better course of action for that. Then we are gonna put a bomb there. Put a bomb here. Unfortunately, we are going to have to waste two bombs in order to get to this. Actually, maybe even three. Okay, no. Oh, troll bomb! Dick bomb. Oh, yeah. Just stand back and fuck him up. Thank you. Easy room. And we are fighting war. Oh, no, we're fighting conquest. Um, that happens sometimes with the Book of Revelations. It will tell you you're fighting one, but actually make you fight another. Does this mean we get the white pony? Conquest gives the white pony, right? I mean, that's flying. But I don't really want to give up Book of Revelations. Ah, shit. Oh, God. Remember the first time I fought Conquest, man? He fucking kicked my ass. Oh, ah, shit. Walked right into that. Ah, you dick. Oh, I shot him up into me. Ooh, look out. Come on, come on. No, 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 damn it. One more hit. There you go. Oh no, I did drop a third level cube of meat, but I don't really want it. That's the problem. Brimstone. No, I don't want it either of those either. I think I'm fine with what I have. I don't want to get rid of my only blocker either. Ooh, there's a um there's an arcade. I could try and get a third blood bag. Now, if we were in an arcade on the womb, I would not even be thinking about doing this. Because it would not be worth it. Why? Well, because you see, it's this whole thing of, um, well, I would not be, I would be losing spirit hearts and not gaining. Please, for the love of everything, don't give me the IV bag. It's the blood bag! We get a third blood bag! Now we are really fast. Okay, let's... Pretty much, we're not going to stay on this floor longer than we need to. We are going to hit the item room, hit the shop, and get the fuck out of Dodge. 
That is all I need to do here. That's all I want to do here. Um, we got one leaper down. Come on. Oop. Oh, excuse me. Oh, and we got a tinted rock. I shall use my last bomb for this. And it was worth it. Ha, you died. Um, what is this? Bobby bomb, homing bombs. Well, it gave me more bombs, so it's useful in a not useful way. No, it's it. It's, it's okay. It's decent. Oh, shit. I forgot that these guys can hop onto gaps. All I can say is we, has, we have a decent chance on getting at least through Isaac. As long as I don't, like, majorly screw up. If I don't majorly screw up on the womb, we should be fine. I just gotta try and not take as much damage as I have been taking on this floor. Case in point right there. I have to try and avoid that. Uh, justice. Sure. Okay. The coin purse. I found pills. Bad trip. Health down. Uh. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I'm actually going to take this bad trip pill. I know all y'all are thinking I'm crazy, but when you get down to, I think, half a heart or maybe a heart, it turns into a full health pill. Okay, so we're going against regular mom. Which isn't bad. We have split shot, which will be good for crowd control. Let mom's foot do a lot of work, too. Get rid of that human popcorn. And we are doing decent damage to Mom. Um, we definitely could be doing a lot better, but um, we could be doing a lot worse as well, so. Let's just keep going. We're going to be getting rid of a missing page after this, too, because we are going to be getting the Polaroid. Which, if I could if I could have gotten the battery, then I would have definitely... Um, Tears up. Now we're shooting even faster. If we could find a guppy's paw, I will run zero, uh, zero red hearts, and it for permanent Polaroid invincibility. Ah, damn it! Okay, see, we can't do that. We get, we've got to, we've got to attempt to not do that on the womb if we're gonna have any attempt on actually beating Isaac. <clears throat> oh God. I'm gonna need your help, Peeper's Eye. Ah, shit. Okay, one of you needs to... Actually, you both you both need to die, like, really, really soon. Otherwise, I'm in a bad spot. Okay, there's one. There's the other. Alright, sweet. That puts me in a little bit of a better spot. I still gotta be careful, though, because these guys are dicks. Okay. Thankfully, we have the compass. That makes this a whole lot easier on us. It means we don't have to dilly-dally. We can just get right down to business and try and get to the boss room as quick as possible. You, you just go over there. Key in a bomb. Okay, who's going to be our boss? Death. Oh, man, we could have got a level 4 cube of meat. But, once again, I did want to get rid of our only defender. And I'm, I'm still not going to do so. I'm not going to give up my only defender for a level 3 cube of meat, which does some extra damage. I mean, we've got, we've got good DPS from our level 2 cube of meat right now, so I think remaining with that is probably the best idea. God damn it, I hate, I hate the horse. Okay, let's take him out before he can spawn any more Zombros. And we get a random Spirit Heart drop, which is actually nice. Okay. A bandage has appeared in the basement. Uh, let's see what we get in the Devil Room. Oh god, that's... I'm not gonna take Mom's knife.
even though I should. Should I take mom's knife? I'm going to go on a limb and risk it. And I'm also going to be super risky and take Uppy's paw. Which makes this bad trip pill effectively useless, but... I'm taking an incredibly big gamble. Oh, great. I was talking about how good it was to have the compass in this fucking floor. It's useless. Hey, thanks, Peeper's Eye. Save me from having to dodge. Um, was this a library? It is, but neither one of those I want. Oh, got two lusts. Uh, Mom's knife will actually come in handy for this. Ah, you dick. Okay, that's a pill I do not want. I might as well take this magician car. Card. Car. Yes, I'll take this. Oh, shit. Okay, I gotta be careful doing that. Oh, that was close. Ah, uh, that nickel's useless. Alright, Mega Guts. Ooh. That was close. Ooh, God. Okay. Chain reaction! Um, gluttony. Dual gluttony. That's not too bad. Ouch. But that is. Alright. Oh, well, we luckily found the boss room, so we'll be getting to Mom's Heart boss fight in just a second. As soon as I take out these guts, or these spiders and the mega guts, slash guts. Pop book revelations. No, just go to the boss. What are you doing, Jake? Oh, I can't believe I missed. Okay. Nope. Ah. Hit it, thank you. Alright, let's just fuck mom, mom's heart's day up. Oh boy, that was fast. Already got her in permanent bomb state. Ah, shit. Well, that was fast. Okay. Up to the cathedral. And hopefully Isaac is this way and not in some... Oh, he is this way. We are... We might be able to make it down to the chest. I think that'll be the first time I've been to the chest. I've either been to the chest once, or I've not been there at all. Oh god, just look out. Hey, could you stop being a dick? Okay, thank you. And Monstro 2. Not difficult at all. Oh god. Oh god, stop jumping. Yo, fire the laser, dude. Thank you. Okay, time for Isaac. Ah, shit, okay. Bomb. Ah, damn it. Okay. Just gotta stand by him when I run away. Use a bomb. Ah, shit, okay. Permanent Polaroid of Invincibility, where we are most likely going to beat Isaac. Oh god, there, there are my spirit hearts. So I can, uh, I can see those again. And Isaac's dead. Thankfully he was nice and gave us a spirit heart back. Ah, but, yeah. We lose it the second we gain it. Okay, I want this angel fetus to die. Okay, so we are going to the chest. What are our items? Mom's con- no, Mom's eye, not Mom's contact. The shears. Mutant spider. That would have been nice earlier. And the hourglass. I'm not going to take any of those. Okay. So this is essentially just going to be nothing but boss rooms. Uh, the chest rarely has anything other than boss rooms. 
and you cannot explode your way through doors. Oh, shit. Um, thankfully, Holy Water killed Greed. I kind of want to kill Super Gluttony last. Ah, shit. Dick. Dude, die. Thank you. Lard, we have enough speed. I'm taking that. Alright. Um, this is not the right way. Shit. Oh, god. You gotta look out for troll bombs. Might as well pop this magician card. Can't really do anything with it. Ah! You ass! Fuck, okay. I, I gotta stop getting trapped in corners now. You need to die. You need to die like now. Okay, so we get Mega Bombs, which will really be good. Oh, that's helpful. That's really helpful, actually. Alright. Um. Ah, shit. Fuck. Um, I'm going to. I actually might go get the Shears. Um right before the boss room, because I think those are actually... I think that's a really good item to take. Ah, damn it. Get rid of Pestilence first. Shit! Okay. One more room. And it's three champion Widows, but Widow is easy with Mom's knife. Ow. Say that and take damage. Oh god. Ugh, I hate you. I hate you so much. What's this? Justice. Alright, I am going to go get the shears, which will essentially, like, cut our head off. And we'll get, like, a, a meat boy... But it's uh, uh, a guy I watch who likes to call it a level 5 meat boy because it does a lot of damage. It's actually the first time I picked up the shears as well. So, let's see if we can do this. Time to fight Blue Baby. Oh god, okay. I am just going to tank him. Um, and I don't... I actually don't think this is the best idea. We've almost got him, though. Oh, God. If we can just defeat the angel fetuses... Oh, my God, I beat the game! I beat the full game! I beat the full game! <laughs> oh, God, look at, look at all of them. We got, like, four of them. Um, this is the first time I've actually beat the entire game. And I caught it. On camera! And you get to watch it. Sweet. Alright, thanks guys so much for watching, and we'll watch the end real quick. <sighs> okay, that was intense. That almost didn't work. <laughs> so, it looks like picking up Mom's knife was actually a good idea. That helped us out immensely through the rest of the game. Okay. So, thank you guys so much for watching again, and as always, I will see you guys in the next episode.